Imagine a country so small on the map that you could miss it with a careless glance, yet powerful enough to dominate some of the most advanced military technologies on the planet. Imagine a nation that once relied on foreign suppliers for every critical defense system, but now stands shoulder to shoulder with superpowers producing fighter jets, drones, missiles, and air defense systems that even the largest nations admire, study, and sometimes fear. And imagine this same country surpassing a historic aerospace powerhouse like France, a nation renowned for the Mirage and Rafale jets with decades of aviation heritage. How did this shift happen? How did Israel, a country born into conflict and pressure, manage to outperform a giant known for engineering brilliance? This is the story of innovation under fire, necessity turning into invention and strategic thinking transforming into unmatched technological strength. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're breaking down one of the most fascinating developments in modern military history, how Israel surpassed France in fighter jet and missile technology. This isn't just a tale about machines, it's about geopolitical shifts, engineering leaps, battlefield realities, and a mindset built around survival. And by the end, you'll understand why Israel's systems, from the Iron Dome to the Aero missile family, from the Kafir jet to cutting edge drones, have now become gold standards in the global defense world. Let's start with the exterior of Israel's aerospace evolution, the visible headline making transformation. For decades, France seemed untouchable in aviation, producing iconic aircraft like the Mirage Athern, Mirage F1, and later the Rafale. These jets dominated European skies and were exported around the world. But Israel took a different path. Its journey began with dependence on French equipment, especially the Mirage series. After being cut off from French arms in the late 1960s, something unexpected happened. Instead of collapsing, Israel reverse engineered, redesigned, upgraded, and ultimately reinvented the fighter jet itself. The exterior of Israel's home grown jets, like the Kafer and later the Lavi prototype, reflected a blend of French aerodynamic DNA fused with American engines and Israeli avionics. Over time, the country's aircraft evolved from copies into completely new species shaped by brutal real world combat experience rather than theory. While France refined elegance and balance, Israel engineered for survival, speed, precision, and adaptability. And this raw, purpose-built exterior approach began to catch the world's attention. Now, moving inside, though we'll keep this part short as requested, the interior of Israeli military technology became its secret superpower. Israeli jets and missile systems are known for their advanced avionics, intuitive cockpit layouts, and groundbreaking sensor fusion software. The interior electronics didn't just enhance the pilot's experience, they revolutionized how the aircraft behaved, how it detected enemies, and how quickly it could respond. Instead of focusing on lavish design or ergonomic luxury, Israel packed its interiors with intelligence, data links, radar, warning receivers, electronic warfare suites, and customized mission computers that could be updated and reprogrammed rapidly. While French jets certainly carried advanced technology, Israel's interiors became laboratories of innovation specifically shaped by the battlefield. And this gave Israeli pilots and commanders an unmatched technological edge. Performance became the stage where Israel truly overtook France, not because Israel built the fastest jet or the most beautiful aircraft, but because Israel optimized performance for exactly the kind of warfare it faced. Israeli jets became agile, deadly machines with superior electronic warfare tools, unmatched targeting accuracy, and the ability to adapt to unpredictable threats. Israel's drones, another area where it surged ahead, became world-leading platforms used for surveillance, precision strikes, and electronic attacks. On the missile and air defense front, Israel leaped even further. Systems like Iron Dome, David's Sling, 
And the Aero series didn't just outperform French equivalents, they outperformed almost everyone's. Iron Dome demonstrated interception rates previously considered impossible. The Aero 3 became the world's first operational exo atmospheric interceptor. David Sling filled the gap between short range and long range defense in a way that analysts around the world still study. Israel's performance edge stemmed from the constant reality that these systems weren't designed for export or for show. They were designed to protect people every day, often within minutes of deployment. Safety features also played a big role in this transformation. Unlike many countries, Israel integrates safety into its military technology at both the system and strategic levels. Their, their missiles use intelligent fusing, adjustable blast radii, and advanced target verification algorithms. Their jets carry sophisticated electronic countermeasures that automatically identify and block enemy radar or incoming missiles. Their air defense systems employ multi-layered safety nets designed to avoid collateral damage while maximizing protection. Iron Dome, for example, uses algorithms that calculate whether an incoming rocket will hit a populated area. If not, it ignores it, conserving resources. This level of selectivity is rare and demonstrates a blend of ethics, strategy, and engineering. French systems are safe and reliable, of course, but Israel's are specifically engineered for urban defense, complex environments, and nonstop threats. Safety for Israel isn't just protection, it's precision. But where Israel really pulled ahead is in its unique selling points. First, Israel builds fast. Its defense sector responds to threats with astonishing speed. If a new drone threat appears, Israel can reprogram, redesign, or redeploy systems within days, sometimes hours. Second, Israel integrates battlefield feedback like no one else. Every real world engagement becomes a lesson. If a missile slips through a defense net, engineers analyze it immediately and update the software. No bureaucracy, no slowdown. Third, Israel specializes in modularity. Its jets, missiles, and drones are designed to be upgraded quickly, often without replacing hardware. Fourth, Israel combines technologies in ways that other nations don't. Artificial intelligence, cyber defense, satellite guidance, and electronic warfare all converge inside Israeli systems, making them adaptable to multiple roles, while France excels in building complete Polished systems with long development cycles, Israel focuses on evolution, constant upgrading, constant refining, constant staying ahead. Price plays an interesting role in this comparison. French jets like the Rafale are expensive, often costing over 100 million per aircraft with full systems included. They're premium machines built with long-term industrial goals and diplomatic partnerships in mind. Israel, on the other, Hand sells a different kind of product. Instead of building premium fighters for export, Israel became a global leader in selling missile systems, drones, avionics packages, radar systems, and air defense technologies. These products are often cheaper, more flexible, and easier to integrate with existing systems. Countries that can't afford a Rafale can afford an Israeli drone, missile interceptor, radar upgrade, or electronic warfare suite. Even major powers buy Israeli components because they're modular, battlefield tested, and technologically outstanding. The price to performance ratio of Israeli systems is one of the biggest reasons Israel now competes and sometimes wins against France on the global stage. And now we reach the conclusion Israel surpassed France, not because it had a larger defense industry, deeper pockets, or a longer aviation legacy. It surpassed France because it turned necessity into innovation. Cut off from French arms in the 1960s, Israel learned to build its own. Surrounded by threats, Israel designed systems for real war, not theoretical war. Pushed by urgency, Israel developed faster, adapted faster, and improved faster. While France continued to produce world-class jets like the Rafale, Israel built something else, a multi-layered missile shield unmatched anywhere on Earth. 
Drone technology that helped shape modern warfare, avionics so advanced that even superpowers integrate them into their fleets, and air defense systems that redefined what was possible. Israel's rise wasn't an accident, it was the result of pressure, creativity, and an unwavering focus on survival. And in the world of defense, that combination turned out to be more powerful than size, tradition, or even industrial wealth. Israel didn't just surpass France, it changed the global military landscape, and the world is still watching.